Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. I'm Kim, I'm a celebrity fashion stylist, and today we are talking about what to pack on your vacation that you're so excited for. I used to be one of those people, I don't know if you are, that used to pack that massive, like literally refrigerator sized bag that has like all the things that you think you may wear that you never wear in the summer and you never wear at home, but you might wear them on vacation. You're not gonna wear them. That's my tip number one, but we'll get into the video and I'm gonna show you all of my favorite things that you need for your vacation. One of the first things I wanna to talk to you about is what to travel in. I actually have done a video on what to wear when you're traveling. I often wear black, I'll wear like a black dress, a long black dress with leggings. A lot of the time, this is one of my favorite travel outfits is all white, I love it. I happen to be wearing heels. It depends on where I'm going, whether I bring the heels or not. White jeans, I love. I always wear a white t-shirt and I love throwing on a kimono. This is a very fresh, fun, clean outfit. And for the plane, if you have a blanket scarf to put on with this is a really great idea. I have one right here. This one I bought is a big one. I have one that I show you all the time that's gray. This one is light and gray. I love it. It like, I literally, I'll put this in my purse and I'll throw this around myself like a full blanket. It's amazing and it goes with the outfit. So try to find something that's lighter color that's gonna go with most of your wardrobe. And you know what I find fantastic? When I'm in a hotter place, you don't really want to wear a jacket. I always bring a jean jacket, but I really only ever wear it on the plane. And then when I get there, it's too hot. Some sort of blanket scarf, it is the most amazing thing to have because you could wrap it around your shoulders and it can go with every dress. So this is a very key uh, piece to make sure that you bring when you're packing. So get a light blanket scarf and wear it as a shawl when you go out for dinner. Something I love, love, love is kimonos. So again, I can take this kimono off and I will wear this pink one with an all white outfit. I love it, it is a fantastic piece. Kimonos are great pieces, you can find them anywhere. Again, this one's from Gypsy Soul. I find they make amazing kimonos. It's silk, it's lightweight. So I will wear this out to dinner with jeans and a tank top and I will also wear it as a cover up on the beach. So it's multi-purpose, so you don't have to pack too many things. So kimono, I'll give you a few examples. This one I wear on the beach because it's just more of a crocheted look. It doesn't provide really much warmth, but it's more of just a slight cover up. So there's another example of a kimono. So on vacation, you wanna bring things that you can use for several different things. I've thrown this on, I use it as a cover up. I've thrown it on with a headpiece. I've worn it on set. I tied this around my waist and I wore it as a dress. It's a fantastic little piece. Multi-purpose, that's the key for your vacation packing. Multi-purpose. Most of the time, I love long dresses. So this one is from Hardtail, this one's from Gypsy 05. They're both cotton, and I'll tell you what, when I get up in the morning, I actually put my bathing suit on, and then I throw one of these on. And then I go for breakfast in it, and then I wear it down to the beach. And at night, when I'm going for dinner, I'll put this on, and often I'll throw a kimono over it, or a jean jacket, depending on how cold it is. But I just feel like, you know when you're tanned and you've been burnt, and you don't necessarily want anything tight on? It doesn't look right, it doesn't feel right. So any type of long jersey dress is just a beautiful thing. So this one, if I'm going out and it's still quite hot out, I'll wear this with a pair of gladiator sandals and a kimono looks great with this. You can see in the back, it just adds a little detail. Your bra actually goes here. So it covers your bra and then it shows your lower back. This one I love. I wore out to dinner in Greece a few times this summer when I was working. It's a wrap dress. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the detailing on the sleeves. I felt comfortable in it. I also felt really pretty. I felt feminine. It's just a beautiful piece. Any type of wrap dress will do. It doesn't have to be this one. But, and again, I liked the longer sleeves because it was a bit cooler out and I didn't have to bring a jacket. Another piece is cute, I'm just saying like another throw on. This is just another cute little tunic dress. This one's from Soya Concept. I love it. It's just easy, you can throw it on and you're gonna look really classy going to dinner. I do bring a jean jacket. Often I'll wear one on the plane. And this is sort of a longer t-shirt. So something like this I would wear on the plane with like a pair of leggings. These are Hardtail. Hardtail is one of my favorite companies um, out there for leggings. It's made in California. All the materials made in California. It's hand dyed. So this is something that I would wear on the plane. Some leggings, a cute pair of white runners, and a jean jacket. And then again, I throw my blanket scarf in my purse. You have to remember you want your sunnies. 
These ones I love. They're from Anine Bing. She's also from California. I don't know, I'm a California girl, I guess. But I think these are really cute. I like that they're a bit lighter because often when you're on vacation, you're wearing lighter colors. I've brought like my thicker, heavy, black frames and I end up just really sweating around them. So just something to remember, go for a lighter frame. So lighter in color and lighter in weight. So I really like these. We all know it's not that great to have sun on your face, especially when you're that close to the equator. I do bring a baseball hat, but often I'm wearing pieces that are a little more feminine, a little more floaty when I'm in a hot place. And so um, when I was in Santorini this summer, I was working on set and I literally had so much sun on my face and my baseball hat just was not working, it was too hot. And so I like walked by this vendor and I grabbed this hat I love it, like it's just, it's lightweight, it's perfect. It kept the sun out of my face completely. And throw this on with any dress and you're just really gonna have like a feminine, relaxed vibe. One last thing I wanted to mention was footwear on holidays. I don't know about you, I have a pair of wedges, I sometimes bring them, they take up a lot of space. I find often my favorite pairs are my gladiators that tie up. And then on a comfortable basis every day, I love these white Burks. So again, for travel on the plane, I actually will wear these with leggings, a t-shirt dress, a jean jacket, and then pack socks in my, in my purse. So I just put the socks on with these. I know it's not super cute, but no one can really see my feet while I'm flying. So if you see me on a plane, look down, and I bet you if I'm going somewhere hot, I've got socks in my Burks. I love these white Burks, I wear them all the time. So another, another pair that I got in Santorini this summer was these. Um, they're metallic and they're platform. These are obviously a bit dirty. I wore them like the whole time I was working, but metallic is huge right now. It was all over Europe. Um, so you're gonna start to see these coming. They're just a great, they're, these were comfortable and they're great to have in your pack, in your bag. Remember, I'll be throwing a pair of flip flops, but don't wear your flip flops out. Flip flops are only for the pool. Don't wear them to dinner. Slip on even something as simple as Burks or you know um, a metallic shoe like this. It kind of feels like flip-flops, but you've just elevated yourself, like massively. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys found this extremely useful. I'm telling you, it is so much better when you go on vacation with a smaller suitcase. You don't need all that crap. Just bring what you essentially need, the pieces that you love and wear all the time. Those are the absolute key to really having an enjoyable vacation with the stuff that you packed. So thank you so much for tuning in and remember, to hit the subscribe button down below and I will show up in your mailbox every Thursday and we will hang out. Take me on vacation with you. Enjoy your time, happy packing.